What is good guys, back with another smoke on snack draft game, this time Flame VT vs Ricardo. Uh, looking at the teams real quick, Mega Diancy squad on FV's side, um, with uh, probably a choice scarf, Keldeo, either Z-Move or Specs Tabulele, Assault Vist, Megiana, uh, Defensive Lander with Rocks, and then either Ruth 3 attacks or um, Defog Zapdos with only 2 attacks. But since we have Dianthi with Magic Bounce and only Zapdos is weak to rocks, I can see the Zapdos being 3 attacks with Roost without Defog. Definitely an option for sure. On the other side, we see um, probably a Scarf Landorus. Since he has a Mantine, he can afford to run a slow Scarf like a Landorus, since Mantine is like one of the best vocal runner answers in the game. So this should be a Spadef, Jirachi with rocks, U10, Iron Head, and then either Wish, Healing Wish, or Toxic, something like that. Uh, either Zim of Coco or Zim of Kirum. It could be Life or Kirum plus Zim of Coco. Um, or it could be like Specs or Magnet Coco and then Zim of Kirum. And this is going to be Common Reuniclus. Common Reuniclus is actually looking pretty nice in this matchup. Um, I don't see how Flame Victini beats that if Ricardo plays it well. Um, he can like try to discharge Parallel with Zapdos or like he can fish for crits. Um, obviously if the Lily um, has Taunt or has Command itself or is Specs, it can beat Reuniclus. But if Reuniclus sets up before Lily comes out, then I actually see um, yeah, Reuniclus can potentially win that, ga that game for sure uh, for Ricardo. So Ricardo can just lead off with Coco here. I think he has a pretty nice matchup. And the only thing that would be bad for Coco would be... Um, like he would see if the Lando leads off, then he would see on based off terrain versus Intimidate if the Lando is Scarf. But I'm thinking the Kelly should be Scarf, the Lando should be defensive. So we see the Coco's terrain goes before the Lele terrain. So this Lele is most likely not Scarf, obviously. Um, so you can U-turn or Volt switch out here, and if the Lele stays in, he has a free switch in the Jirachi. And if the Lele switches, he gets momentum. If he has U-turn, that's pretty much like the, the best play, because even if Lando comes out, then he gets momentum. He doesn't have to fear Volt switch getting blocked. But he does go in a Jirachi, which is surprised. Uh, like, I'm surprised by that, like what? Um, and he gets crit, super unfortunate. So that's definitely a Specs Lily and he got a crit. So this is a Spadef Jirachi, it's not leftover, so I'm not sure wh which item it's gonna be. But Ricardo can switch out here, I assume Flamingtini is just gonna hit in Power Fire again, he doesn't have to risk anything. But Ricardo can pretty much switch to whatever he wants to, uh, because the Lily is locked in the hidden Power Fire. I guess he can go into his Kyurem here, because that puts offensive pressure on every, um, because... The only Kyurem switch in FV has is like Megina, which is like a one-time switch in. So Ricardo can, um, if he has off power, he can go for that, or he can go for Fusion Bolt. Or he can also double back to his um, Jirachi, because the Megina is going to come out here 100%. Um, that's like the only one-time switch in he has. I guess the Yancy could, or the Yancy is another option, because the Yancy is relatively bulky. So he doubles back in a Jirachi. I think, yeah, exactly, he tries to get up his rocks before the Yancy gets up the Mega. As we, ooh, it's Aya Papa Berry. So he gets a slow Volt Switch out. And on his land, right? So I assume Flaming Teen is now one, wants to get up his own rocks because Ricardo has a Kyurem and a Mantine. Um, two months that are weak to rocks. So he goes hard um, Kyurem Berry in the rocks. And he can just Fusion Bolt or off Paw here because the Megina is guaranteed gonna come out here. Um, that's pretty much. Victini, uh, Flaming Teen is forced to do that. I mean, he could have also gone to um, Dianti, but Megina was more likely. So now he can um, Flurican or Volt Switch. I think Flurican makes sense because it covers the Lando and if the Kyurem stays in you don't want your Medina, Medina to like um, get super low and then have the Kyurem still be alive. Um, Ricardo could go into his um, Jirachi. Um, yeah, but the thing is if he goes Jirachi and he gets vaulted on, what does... I don't think that's that bad for Ricardo. So I think I would definitely go Jirachi here. Um, Another option is going Hard Lando, but that's a bit risky. Hard Lando only works on a Volt, it doesn't work on a Fleur. So I think Hard Lando is too risky. And since Reuni is fit I think it... I, think, I don't think Reuni is the play because you need Reuni healthy. See, Hard's Coco predicting a Volt switch, I think. That's super risky. As Effie just Fleurs and the Coco dies. Coco would have been nice this matchup. I'm um, getting up terrain for Kyurem. Also, pretty much destroying Effie's team. Um, we thought the Kyurem was live up, so it was probably a Z-move Coco. If it was a Z-Wild Charge Coco, um, it put in a lot of work in this game for sure. Um, I'm not, I don't, I don't agree with that play. But now he can go um, into either Lando or into. Yeah, he has a lot of options here. He can go into the Uniclus and start setting up. That's one option. He can then go into Kyurem and click uh, Fusion Bolt. Is another option, but his Kyurem is super low uh, after rocks. 
Okay, let's just go reunion cliff. I think he's gonna calm mind up. Uh, Flaming Teen is gonna get a Volt Switch out here. Because obviously Megina is set up for, for this reunion cliff. Um, it's probably Volt Switch, Flurkin, uh, Ice Beam Slash, HP Fire, and last slot Iron Hat to check opposing gear. And what is Flaming Teen even gonna do about this? He's either gonna try to um, discharge Para this reunion cliff, or he's gonna have to. Um, to go Lily and Taunt, or I don't know what else. I guess he could just spam attacks on the Reuniclus and um, try to start out the recover. Um, his Deancey, if his Deancey has Endeavor, that could also be nice for Flame Victini to help versus Reuniclus. I'm pretty sure Ricardo is just gonna click Calm and here, it's pretty free. So, yeah, he's either gonna go. Um, I think Zapdos is to fish for Discharge Paras. Or maybe, um, okay, he goes into Landris. I was gonna think maybe Dien's if he has Endeavor. But like, he goes into his um, Lando. And he's just gonna click Earthquake here, or um, maybe Knockoff if he has that. But he's most likely Earthquake, HP, Ice, U-turn, and Rocks. So he's just gonna Earthquake, uh, Ricardo recovers there. Ricardo can um, just attack here, or he can command again. But I think just attacking is fine. Not that he loses much from calm mining again, but you just want to like you want to get something out of your Uniclus. You don't want to like get too greedy if that makes any sense. Like so, I, I think it's just attacking with Psyshock or Psychic. I think they carry Psyshock, so yeah, just Psyshocking here is a fine play uh, in case FV U turns. Let's say um, I don't know what he even could U turn into, but I think Psyshock is just a fine play. Now he's obviously gonna recover again, and um, yeah, this doesn't really work out for Flaming Victini. I guess he stalled out. <laughs> one recover <laughs> but it's looking like the Reuniclus kind of beats him so if he has this church on Zapdos he should definitely go to Zapdos and try to parry this because this Lando is definitely not gonna do anything for if he, if he stays in here um, the Reuniclus can set up all over the Lando so he does go into the end which makes me think that he should have Endeavor or something um, so he's either gonna Diamond Storm here or um, I guess maybe Substitute. Those are the two plays that come to mind. Um, we have seen this sometimes used Sub Endeavor DNC. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that set, but it's actually kind of nice here in this scenario if he's that set. So he does Sub down as the Reuni should just attack. He goes for Energy Ball. So it's pretty obvious that he has Endeavor and he's gonna keep subbing down at this point. He's gonna keep subbing down to get into low range so he can Endeavor the Reuniclus. The thing is, um, Reuniclus does have, I think 15 recover PP left. Maybe maybe it has 14, I don't, it didn't count, but I think he has 14 left. So Endeavor only has 8 PP, which means um, Reuniclus can technically spam recover and stall out the Endeavor. But the problem with that is, um, the DNC also has Diamond Storm, which also has 8 PP, and then you risk getting crit if you're Ricardo. So I don't think it's in Ricardo's interest to stay in with the Reuniclus in the long run. I think he's gonna Energy Ball one more time to break the sub, because um, FV is gonna sub down again. But I think um, it's in Ricardo's interest to um, to switch out when the DNC gets too low, on because then the Endeavor is gonna come out. And on the Endeavor, then he can... Um, Probably go to his Lando or his Jirachi. We'll see when we're there because he's gonna sub down one more time because he wants to be as low as possible on health on his DNC. So this Endeavor is um, the most damage he can do to the Reuniclus, obviously. Um, so I think he's gonna end Actually, uh, yeah, I think if Flaming Teen is gonna sub down one more time for sure. Yeah, he's gonna sub down one more time. And Ricardo's either gonna attack to uh, to break the sub one last time, or he's gonna hard into Lando, I think. So he does break this, and now the Endeavor is gonna come out here. So like I said, the one option is spamming Recover, but I don't think that's the smartest decision, since this Reuniclus is like a super huge win con. He already threw his Coco away, which wasn't the smartest. So now you at least wanna keep the Reuniclus, and don't, don't wanna risk um, and spamming, and spamming Endeavor, and then critting you with Diamond Storm after. So he can go into a uh, hard into Landris, which should be Scarf. And then he can threaten out the DNC, obviously, after. He could... I don't remember how healthy the Jirachi was. I think after it gets the, uh, after it gets the Ayapapa, which is actually a really interesting set. It should be somewhat healthy, but um, Jirachi still has some use, so I think Lando... Exactly, Lando's the better play. The Endeavor is gonna come out here guaranteed. 
And now the Landreth can go for HP Ice because it should kill the Yanzi from 13%. And it also covers Flaming Victini going to um, to his own Lando, and it covers Flaming Victini going to his um, to his Zapdos. So I think HP is pretty free here for Ricardo. Um, I don't know if Shodan runs. If Shodan runs down, um, like sometimes it does that, this DNC might be at 12 and it might die to rocks, even though it says 13. But Effie knows because he's obviously logged into his account and he knows his health exactly. So if this DNC can live a rock switch in, maybe there's a point in keeping it, but I think he's just gonna sack the DNC. Probably. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they should just HP ice here and. Like, Effie could go into Kaleo, but. Lando earthquakes the kill you will take a huge hit. I guess Zapdos is also an option. But I assume he's just gonna stack the DNC, especially if he's in range from rocks, but I don't know that because I'm not on his account. And he might like I said be on at 12. So he does save it, okay. So he does go Lando, and I'm pretty sure the HPS is gonna kill this. So I don't know. I think if he switch out he should have gone into either Zap maybe into Zapdos, because Zapdos could eat up the HPIs, and then he still had the Lando as fodder. And we know he knows that the Lando has to be Scarf uh, because it brought it in on the NC. So Zapdos would have been super free there. The Zapdos could have either roosted or discharged. So I feel like Zapdos would have been a better play if you switch out. But to be fair, Landros wasn't doing much. Landros was just set up for the four Uniclus. And I guess Mantan roosts on defensive Lando. Defensive Lando can't really touch Mantan. So it wasn't necessarily a bad play, but he could have kept it as a fodder. But he probably most likely he probably won't need it. So now he goes in the lily, knowing that the Lando is locked into HP eyes. As he Ricardo just sacks the the Lando off. Now he's gonna go Jirachi here. Um, unless Mantan eats the Specs Moonblast easily, then he can go to Mantan. But Jirachi is super obvious. And um, Flamingtini is gonna go to Keldia here, producing an Iron Head most likely. If he has U-turn, he can go for that. But I think he's just gonna Iron Head. So there's the Keldia. Now Ricardo does have a Mantan in the back, which is quite obvious to come out. So Flamity doubles into Zapdos, breaks in the Mantan. I think Ricardo stayed in, and he oof, he has Toxic. So that's really a nice play by Ricardo catching the the Zapdos with a Toxic, as the Zapdos is um, most likely gonna go for discharge here. Uh, Ricardo can probably go hard into Kirim, but the thing is, if the Zapdos is fast, um, it would probably two it KO the Kirim after Rocks, yeah. So he's probably gonna discharge here. As that is a roll to tweet KO. If he has Heatwave, he doesn't have to risk the roll, but he risks missing. So Ricardo is just gonna um, Ice Beam here in case Zapdos stays in and in case he lives the hit, but I think he's just gonna die to either Discharge or Heatwave here. Obviously, if Flamitini has Heatwave, like I said, he should go for it because Discharge probably is a roll. And now he can go on a Reuniclus and set up again. And Flaming Teeny guess saw had discharges, which is obviously pretty common on Zapdos. And he's gonna fish for the para on the Reuniclus. Because he doesn't really have a way of beating Reuniclus otherwise. I guess he can endeavor it again. If his if his DNC lives the rock switching, which it probably does because he switched it out. Um, then I think it's actually good to go, I guess. Um, if he plays it correct. But the Reuniclus is obviously still a huge threat because it has a lot of p recover PP. Um, so if Flamitini can get the para here, that would be really helpful as he gets a crit and the para. But at least Ricardo get, doesn't get para there. Um, so Ricardo is gonna have to go for recover here. As if he can... I don't know if he's gonna discharge again or if he's gonna hard out into his... Um, Megana or DNC. I guess he's just gonna... Um, yeah, I think hard, I think hard Megina is fine because he should have Iron Head on AV Megina, and he can just spam attacks with Megina to waste to recover from Reuniclus. And if Reuniclus wastes to recover, that means it cannot stall and the endeavor from the DNC out anymore. Also, if Reuniclus ever gets paralyzed and it's somewhat, it gets somewhat low and it gets paralyzed, then it's most likely in range from a Specs Lelis Moonblast. So Effie can definitely still win this. Um, I think Ricardo sh should have had this game, but he didn't play optimally. Um, yeah, he kind of threw his Coco away early game and stuff. I think it was relatively early, and he also didn't realize. I guess he didn't pay attention to rain. I think he was. Uh, I think he took a break for months for a while. So he's just iron heading this down. 
getting some flinches and he's gonna force the Renekis to go for recovers and he has one recover and he's just gonna keep spamming Iron Head let me actually calc um, the Iron Head PP I think he went for four or five Iron Heads so far and how much PP does Iron Head have? he gets paralyzed he's just gonna sp keep spamming Iron Head and Mag Magina is actually like <laughs> trying to be Jirachi here para flinging down the Ryuni as Ricardo is gonna hope to not get parried here, spam recover as he gets flinched. So if he gets flinched again, his Reunix might actually be dead. Oof, that's rough. Disgusting, Megina, dude. I think he went for like 10 Iron Heads, so he should have enough PP to keep spamming it. Oh, I don't know why he flurken there. Maybe he predicted him to switch into Mantine. But if the Reunix switches out, it's low and then it doesn't set up again anymore because it's parried and low. So. I don't know why he didn't just Iron Head again. Unless I'm missing something and he was super low on Iron Head PP, but I'm pretty sure he still had Iron Head PP left. Yeah, because he's still spamming it. And I think, yeah, I think he should still have like 9 Iron Heads left. So I'm a bit surprised that he didn't just Iron Head there. Um, when the, when the Reuniclus was in range, so if he got the flinch, he would have just won. But to be fair, he's wasting recover and he's still fine. I think he should have like maybe 6 Iron Heads left. <laughs> this is kind of funny to watch. I mean, if I, I wouldn't want to be in Ricardo's position because it's like he's probably super mad right now. Like he should have won this game, and he misplayed a bit, and then his reunion got parried. Uh, if he wasn't parried, this Megina wouldn't be able to like do this para flinch, disgusting shit. <laughs> he does just side shot now. I think he's gonna recover again because he wants this as healthy as possible. But it doesn't really matter because um, when the DNC comes out and spams Endeavor, and when Reunica just gets parried once, the game ends. Um, or also, if it runs out of recover, it's obviously also bad. And I think Flame VT has this game now with um, yeah a little bit of misplaying from his opponent and with some hacks. I think Flame VT is gonna be able to pull this off. As I think he's gonna run. Iron Head should not have that many more PP. I have I have not been counting those. I think he's gonna run out. Yeah, cause he flirted there. One Iron Head left. <laughs> The Sizer kills the thing and now he can go DNC and Endeavor. If he does live on one, that's the reason why he saved it earlier. So Ricardo obviously has to switch, uh, he sacks off his man down here. And I think now he just loses because his uh, Reunicus doesn't have command boosts anymore. Which means uh, he can go obviously Jirachi here. But since he doesn't have command boosts anymore, he's not going to be able to set up anymore because he's paralyzed. Um, so DNC can just Endeavor the Jirachi down to 1%. And then DNC is going to die to like Iron Head or U turn, Iron Head most likely. And then, I think Moonblast from Lily just wins the game for FV after that because it's obviously a Spadev Rachi, which is a slower than a Specs Lily. Uh, it's Specs confirmed from the damage that we saw earlier on a Jirachi, the, the crit. Um, if it's Spadev Jirachi, that is, which it should definitely be. Makes a lot of sense. But Aya Papa is like super interesting. I have never seen that set. Um, it's like you, I've, I usually like use Wish Protect. Um, Leftovers Rachi, but that's kind of interesting because you get another move slot. You don't have to run Wish if you have Aya Papa. You kind of can keep it Jirachi healthy, and you can run like interesting moves. Like he had Toxic on his, which is definitely cool. And yeah, he just Moonblast twice, and Evie wins the game. Um, it was a cool game overall, but uh, obviously, um, him, him second Coco and then the Discharge Para on Reuniclus. Um Yeah, it could have been a better game. I feel like that, that sucked a bit for sure. But Evie um, did what he had to do. Um, played this optimally pretty much I think thank you guys for watching um, I'll be back with more content and I hope you all enjoyed smash that like button if you did and whatchamacallit yeah I have to mess up my outro That's, it's not a dark video if I don't mess up my outro <laughs> hope you guys all have a fantastic day um, let me know what you um, want me to use in like my next show on live just like drop them on uh, and, I, and I'll try to build with that Maybe even on a stream on Twitch. And yeah, peace out, friends.